Let's turn to another source of power in this age, and that's the media. Has it gotten too powerful? I'd like to be just as objective as possible in talking about the role of the media. It is very important for a president or a cabinet officer or a congressman or a senator uh, to be held accountable, to be kept on his toes. And the media today does that. The, the, the media is in an adversarial position with regard to uh, public officials, and that is healthy in its way. Uh, on the other hand, we have to realize that that a president, uh, and we're referring only, referring only to the president at the moment, uh, must not simply do the bidding of the media, because he was elected and they were not. Uh, speaking of the media, too, we have to realize that, and I think this is frankly not a helpful development, uh, and that is that television plays too much of a role today. I, I was shocked to see a poll a couple of years ago to the effect that 75% of the people polled said they made up their minds with regard to the candidates they were going to support from what they heard on television. In campaigning, there's been some criticism that television encourages the quick line, you know, read my lips with Mr. Bush, and there have been others uh, down the way, and that they get committed to uh, things that they don't really believe in this way. Is there a distortion that you see in the campaign? I liked the days in the 50s when the writing press was more dominant because I could sit down with a good, intelligent writer, political writer, and talk to him on or off the record, and I, we could have a good dialogue. I would learn from it, and he would learn from it as well. But in television, what matters is some script writer will give you a clever line to say, and you've got to get it across in 10 to 15 or 20 seconds. And that line is all that people are going to remember. Uh, rather than, uh, than your maybe very intelligent discussion for two or three minutes of a major issue. I mean, for example, we discussed something like the War Powers Act. You can't answer that with a quip. If you do, you're totally irresponsible. And yet television forces candidates uh, to be uh, sometimes certainly uh, uh, simplistic and sometimes even silly uh, because only by being silly sometimes can you really make the evening news. In a television age, how you look is more important than how you think, uh, more important than what you say.